So why don't we actually put this beef to rest? Okay, so you put me automatically into you the You didn't oil. catch my freaking pun. I said, why don't we put this beef to rest? You know what that means in English? I'm waiting for the punchline. It's a pun. It's not a pun. It's not a joke. It's two different things. For the longest time, you would give me sh when I cooked steak with butter. So we're gonna take grass-fed bolzico beef, pure Angus flank, and we're gonna see who's gonna win. Team butter or? Team olive oil, very virgin. Nico, please add some salt on both steaks. Yes, sir. And oil up both pans. So we both start with oil, right? Butter, garlic, thyme, and rosemary. Wait. That's with butter. Butter. Smooth like... No, we started from the butter, then we're here. This is without butter. Mmm. Still good. What is this? If you like the herby taste, I think you go with the with the butter and herbs and garlic. With good beef like this, just oil and salt, you're good to go. Maybe for a piece of steak with less flavor, like a tenderloin, or I would you, probably say butter could be useful. But since minutes. flank is really fatty, I think it doesn't matter. So I think people should just try out what they want to, depending on the cuts that they have. Yeah. Right. See, life is so much easier without conflict. Started from the bottom over right here. So today we're gonna to be cooking some bolzico beef grass-fed skirt steak. Um, the grain are basically these striations within the muscle. So if you cut like that, you'll end up really with a really chewy piece of meat. Whereas if I were to cut it like this against the grain, I get a nice tender texture. So today we're gonna to try both and we're gonna show you why exactly you should be cutting against the grain. Salt on your skirt. <laughs> Cook our skirt. Oh, Let that rest. Pizza. That's with the grain. This is against the grain. So you can clearly see how the grain runs. So this one should look like lines on one side. Friend. And then this one should look like there are holes in it. So Nico's gonna hold it, I'm gonna hold it, and then we're gonna pull until it snaps. Let's try against the grain. Same effort. Absolutely conclusive. Do it again with the grain. Against the grain. Same. Not even effort. Much easier. So remember when your mom told you cut against the grain? Always listen to your mom. She was right. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a beautiful piece of bolzico beef strip loin. I like my beef with texture, but there are ways to make it more tender. For example, we can marinate in pineapple and balsamic vinegar. We're also going to cook another piece as a little test. Okay, let's do it. One pineapple, freshly cut. Cut your pineapple, put everything in a blender. And you blend it like this. 350 grams of our grass-fed strip loin. Sacrilegio. Nico thinks that this is the proper technique. For more tenderness. Esto es aceto balsamico. Leave this for two hours in the fridge. Run this over some water, and then we're gonna pat it dry and cook it. So this one does look like acid hit it, right? Whereas the balsamic really went into the meat. Steak goes onto our plancha. And when you close your eyes. That's the second one. I totally f***ing won that. Yeah. Take one more pineapple. You can't taste the pineapple at all. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a beautiful piece of bolzico beef grass-fed tenderloin. I always wanted to know, is it better to salt it before or in the pan? Let's try it out. Salt both sides. And this goes in the fridge for at least two hours. A little bit of oil in the pan. Salt, go! Let that rest for about five to 10 minutes. So now, the moment of truth. Hard to tell the difference, to be very honest. So visually, no difference. Upa, the cookness is perfect. Upa, oh. this is properly cooked also. A bit less cooked, by the way. Well, that's a beautiful cut of meat right there. Mm. Interesting. Interesting, right? It's more tender. Yeah. So now I would recommend definitely salting it at least an hour or two before cooking it. Yeah. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a beautiful piece of 350 gram bolzico beef grass-fed strip loin. Normally, you put it in the pan. If it is too thick, you can finish it in the oven. 
But there's also something called a reverse sear where you start it off in the oven first and then we finish it in the pan. We're gonna put some salt and then straight to the oven. Really important when you do a reverse sear is that you need a temperature gauge because it's really important to take it out at the right time. Our strip loin's in right now. I'm gonna take it out at 55 centigrade. Once your pan's hot, add in some olive oil and now we have to wait for this oil to get nice and hot as well. Oh, princesa, mi amor. To the salt. To be honest, I cook a lot of sirloin at home and I prefer it in the pan. Yeah, it feels like it's seized up a little. What I like is that the fat really melted through. I probably would still stick to cooking it in the pan. Yeah, me too. Everyone tells you to rest your steak, but when's the last time you actually tried a rested steak versus an unrested steak? We're using our Bolivico beef grass-fed ribeye. Beautiful. Okay. This is gonna be the rested one. It's not terrible. So in my standards, that's completely raw. <laughs> so you do have some of liquids here. It's really good. There's no butt. Texturally, I think you can I said this. no butt. Seven minutes, 34. It cuts much easier. It cuts much easier. Still medium rare. Yeah, yeah. But then this one has different uh, colors, right? Whereas yeah. this one is a bit more cooked through. It's softer. It's more unifyly texture. The flavor mm. with the fat and everything gets to melt more. So you do get a more intense ribeye flavor. So I'm gonna call it, I think you should rest your steaks. So today I'm gonna show you how to make uh, BLT, which is bacon, lettuce, tomato. So there's no beef sandwich. Without the bacon, which makes it a... A beef, lettuce, and tomato sandwich! <laughs> Two pieces of flank, salt, Honestly, nothing beats good white bread. Then we're gonna get a piece of butter and we're gonna throw that into our hot pan. Small, thin slices. I like using iceberg because it's nice and crunchy. Okay, and now? And now we recook the flank. So usually I'd make my own mayonnaise, but today is not one of those days. <laughs> the guy makes his own mayonnaise. He also makes his own tomatoes and he also makes his own lettuce. Come on. Can I press it? No. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Dude, someone should sell these. You can buy the flank on Trinkolodeli.ph, find some Shokupan, and put this together. Mm. Now that you know how to cook your Bolzico beef, go on Trinkolodeli.ph to order it. <laughs>